Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part three. I was a little bit off in my thinking of what the gentleman was wanting, but after I made that other video yesterday, I started thinking about, well, my mentor actually suggested something else, and I'm using that gentleman's program or file now, so I'm going to change this to hairline. And the other day I measured, or yesterday, I measured what this distance was with the angular uh, dimension tool. I'm going to go ahead and set it on one more digit. And then go from that node to that edge and then go over to that edge. And, well, looks like I'm off. And we are at... So if you ever get that, just take that, just start over and, and go higher because I've got so many digits that it's going to be in the way. Let me take one more digit out. But go here and then go all the way to the top. And then when you want to mark it, just move up and then you have more room. So we're at 12 or 11.635. What the other gentleman was talking about would be to take a line that, and it kind of doesn't matter anymore because that's not what the gentleman was doing but we'll take a line holding down the control button and make it straight the only disadvantage on what he was suggesting and I need to make this line a hairline again I'll go ahead and keep it black what he was suggesting is Control D and making a duplicate. Okay, his duplicate distance is it needs to be set on zero zero for what I'm concerned about. Control D and make a duplicate. And then actually what we're gonna do is we're instead of using control D again and change it, we're gonna go to Windows, Dockers, Transform, Rotation, and we're gonna go that eleven point six. 635, and we're going to do it 22 times. It doesn't really matter. The problem with what he was suggesting, see, now they all do meet in the middle, and I didn't have to delete any line, but you don't have this other line. So what we could do is let's just do it once, just one copy. And then put a line there between these two. So you'll have something to fill into, but that way you'll have the correct angle. Now, the only kind of problem with that, Corel will a lot of times do that. It joins those two lines. So we'll have to do what we did yesterday and uh, break that curve apart. This way you won't have du duplicate line. So now you have that. If you'll take this line and go up to object, and combine it, now it's one line, and then move the center rotation of that to that node, and we'll do it just like six times like the gentleman had yesterday. We're still on the same degree, so now you've got it. The only thing you have to do if you want to change it is to take and delete that line, and then you can take your Smart Fill tool and fill in these spots with whatever color you wanted, and you're not going to have any excess lineage at the bottom like he had if we look well we do well, I don't know why that is I must have not had the center rotation on the center let's back up here okay there's a curve I must just not have had it on that node now let's try it. There we go. Then just take that one line away. Go ahead and delete these. And then fill in with your Smart Fill tool. And what we're trying to do is just not have any extra lineage around the bottom because we've only got one line. Now, we only have the two outside lines showing, but we can, and what I am going to do right now, I'm going to change this 
pin to a graphic. I'm changing the setting to hairline. So they'll all be the same. Now grab the whole thing and right click line. Or, and then you don't have any left over and they're all equal. Anyway, I hope that made a little bit of sense and thank you for watching.